Meet SVD Quant, a groundbreaking approach to 4-bit quantization that tackles the memory and speed challenges of large diffusion models. Standard quantization struggles with outliers, but SVD Quant absorbs them using a low-rank branch paired by singular value decomposition. Combined with the custom Nunchaku inference engine, this method streamlines data movement, delivering a 3x speedup while preserving image quality, even on a 8 gigabytes laptop GPU. Ready for efficient, high-quality image generation? Check out SVD Quant, now open sourced. Flux image generation in just a few seconds on only 8 gigabytes VRAM? Come on, that sounds way too good to be true. Well, why not try it yourself? Let's get started with the setup on your Windows machine. Just follow the steps from the installation guide. All right, I'm intrigued. First up, I'll clone the repository on my local machine, just like you mentioned. Perfect. Now navigate into the cloned repository using the second command. Got it. So far, so good. Next, I'll create the conda environment and activate it, as shown in steps three and four. Nice work. Now, download the wheel file into the cloned repository. You'll find the link down in the video description. Wheel download it. I'll go ahead and install it according to step five. Awesome. Next, install the remaining dependencies as outlined in steps six and seven. Done with all the steps. What's next? That's it for the setup. The rest is handled by the script. <laughs> Installation was easier than I thought. Now let's see if this thing really delivers. How do I set it up for inference? You got it. Just update the config.py file with your prompts and settings. You can specify the flux dev and Schnell models in the inference.py file. Quick tip, for the dev model, go with 50 steps, but for Schnell, you can get results with as few as four steps. Awesome, I've made the changes, opened the command prompt in the cloned repository, activated the virtual environment, and now I'll start the inference. And before you ask, Radio UMI isn't working yet, so we're sticking to command line for now. Wow, the inference is blazing fast. I can't believe this is real. Glad you're impressed. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates.